What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So uh, today is, it's gonna be like a vlog style. We got a lot of stuff in store for you. I know it's been like, uh, I guess it's been like two weeks since we even uploaded a video. It's been what, like a month since we filmed Houston? It's been a while. Yeah, I know I, know I left you guys off on this truck with the, uh, the whole turkey incident. But, um, and, and also I know I left you guys off with wanting to build this truck and we got some cool stuff in the works for it because as you can see, we got rid of my wife's car and we got this thing. All right, so we got rid of my wife's car. It was a, it was a 2020 model, but it wasn't practical for what we use it for. And uh, got her this truck, which is a, it's a new to us. I told you I don't buy anything new. It's a 2017 Denali. But honestly, man, I was hoping she didn't like it because I really wanted it. But she fell in love with it, so. It is what it is. She gets a nicer truck than I do. But that thing right there, we uh, we're actually gonna head to the shop later today, and we're gonna start working out a plan to build it. And I have someone doing a rendering for it. So, anyways, I'm thinking like I don't know, 10 inches on. Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> I think I think 40s is gonna be big enough. I'm about to teach you guys how to roll some coal. So Chase is locked out of his office right now, so that's what we're currently doing, figuring that out. So let's go talk to him. <laughs> so locked out of my building. Got this building too, but Do you do any hunting at all? No, I don't. I'm on the phone with Mike. We're about to go yeah, check out the home. I guess you do. Yeah, it's like, I mean, how do you get locked out of your own building? Especially when you own it. That one's unlocked. But this one is up for sale, I think, and yeah, I was trying to unlock it for the realtor, but I don't know. Let's go see the Humvee now. Wanna we go check it out? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we'll go check it out. So we're gonna go ahead and swing by Black Dog because we're about to pass by there anyways. And uh, last week, we put the wheels and tires on there, and this thing is a monster. It what? I didn't think it was gonna lift it. We're just replacing the springs to give it a softer rod, but this thing is like, it's sitting up higher than my truck, so you guys, you'll see it in a second. It's it's up there. I love the color of that Hummer. <laughs> it's like, dude, that gray color. They yeah. call it black dog gray. It's it's pretty. Yeah, looks cool. I know, but I gotta keep mine the army green color. Look, you can see it's like the biggest one out here. Dude, that is actually huge. <laughs> that I was, I'm actually surprised. Dude. <laughs> And it's not even, the, the back springs are still stopped. We gotta change the back springs out, but I told you guys, like, this thing is, look at Dude, it. Dude, that looks sweet, bro. Dude, it's. Sweet. You see that? So we took the key out and put the original ignition switch in. in. Nice. Brave Home V. So we got, we put these new wheels and tires on it last week. The front has already been done. And if you can tell the back, it's got the Carolina squat is tooted. We've got to change those springs out still. They're, uh, that's the original springs. And then it should lift it up another two inches, I think, or an inch maybe, I don't know. Somewhere around there, but it'll give it a little bit higher stance in the level. The wheels and tires kind of come in at an angle. It's got some kind of shims in there that are pushing the top of the wheel and tire out. So when we do the springs, they're going to go ahead and remove all the shims. I'm going to straighten everything up. And then, align it. And we'll come pick this bad boy up and go do something with it. Not sure what we're going to do with it yet, but... I think it's really Dude, it's huge. huge. So this is another thing. When we do the motor swap, we got to do a 3-inch body lift to clear everything. So it's going to add 3 inches. And then these wheels, or the tires are gonna be too small. So we gotta do a 42 inch tire. So it'll pit the fender about right here somewhere. 
Golly, that thing's gonna be like a monster truck. I ain't gonna be able to get in here. I gotta do something with that. <laughs> but you can see we can put all new springs on from American Humvee. Got a new half shaft, rebuilt and resealed the hubs. New ball joints. Oh, tie rods, put your tie rods on. Cause they were, I guess, wore out, but this thing, man, I can't get over it. I'm ready to run some stuff over, like a car or something. Alright, so that, that Humvee body you just saw goes on this. This is a, I don't even know what it is. It's this right here. But it, uh, this was a SEMA 2021 build. So we're at Defiant Motorsports right now. It's super cold outside. But we're gonna work on building this 250 up. I talked to Graham about doing it. And uh, they're also doing the motor swap in the Humvee. Not sure if we wanna do a Duramax swap with Allison transmission or a 12 valve, but he's got a compound turbo set up on a 12 valve over there that I'm trying to get from him, but he's not wanting to sell it. But man, this thing, this is nasty. It's gonna be sick. I think, I think we might end up trying to do a build also for the Hummer and the truck for SEMA 2021. I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but we'll we'll figure something out with that when we talk to Graham. There, there's a reason an H1 Alpha with a Duramax in it still brings 200,000, and an H1 with a 6.5 in it brings 70,000. The only thing I'll H1. I mean, not Humvees, but there's a reason yeah. Duramax is more expensive. It's more sought after. But the one thing I love about a 12 valve is the sound. What you think about a 12 valve? Very distinct sounds. Yeah. They're attention getters, right? Somebody lays into a 6.0 or a 12 valve, you know it. You don't even have to look. You can tell exactly what motor it is. But if you're going with reliability, resale, you know, your investment, right? Because every time we do something like this, we're, we're throwing cash for what can we get back out of it. Uh, then you do that. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm the guy, I know enough that I know what I like to hear and I know what I like to see. And then I usually cry when I have to write the check because I had too much fun <laughs> and broke this shit, right? <laughs> so that's why I go to him and I'll give him all my crazy ideas and then he actually puts it together for what's going to make sense for us and shoots it back. I mean, they, the comments is six and one half dozen the other. It just yeah. depends on what you want. I mean. Like I said, the, the Allison with an LBZ, you're gonna get a six-speed transmission. As far as cutting, making the Duramax, what are you looking at? Is there a lot of cutting or fabbing between between that and 12 valve? I mean, it, it's about the same. Yeah. Both of them, body lifts on both of them. Doghouse has to be modified. You know, you gotta have a cooling stack, so radiator, intercooler, trans cooler, all of them are gonna have to have it. The only so with a Duramax, you know, you're gonna have a trans controller, yeah. but it's built in just because they're, they're already tied together. And you've got, um, they came from the factory with a trans controller, whereas the wow. Cummins with a 12 valve, we're gonna have to either put a manual valve body, like, um, like a 4L80E, but you can either make it manual, make it a 4L80, or put a trans controller on it, and wow. then, it, then it's something extra. So then you gotta tune the trans, to that, whereas everything's kind of all in one with the Duramax. As far as that truck, building it. The 250? Yeah. You're just gonna build them all? Yeah, I wanted to match the Hummer. Same wheel, same tire? So if you do the, if you, if you do a 12 wide, you definitely need a 10 inch. Do the nine and a half. Yeah, so nine and a half, you can probably do an, an eight inch. And that would 40s. be a 1350 tire? Mm -hmm. 40, 1350? What was the offset on those? Six. Plus six or negative six? Plus six. Maybe a Dave question. Mm -hmm. Pro comp, mm -hmm. super lift. Mm -hmm. What's the other one? Not, not. BDS. Uh, yeah, I looked at BDS. BDS is solid. Stuff, yeah. So. You can do a four link or not? For towing. Yeah, That'd you be could. towing the Hummer. Do coilovers in the front? Yeah, King. Mm -hmm. Or Fox. Fox. I mean, they're, it's. Depends on who you ask, but if, if you're doing BDS, I do Fox. Obviously, Fox owns BDS, so. Yeah. All right, so after meeting with Graham at Defiant, I really want to do a 12 valve. Like, I know it sounds 
the 12 valve feel like it's simple it's loud but i guess after talking to someone who does it on a regular basis he, he feels like it's better to do a duramax swap so i think i think we're gonna do a duramax swap with allison trans but we're gonna have to buy a whole truck that way it has the whole kit and everything and we're gonna try to so this is a plan I, and i'll go ahead and tell you guys this now but but uh so i get it back we're gonna make some cool videos with it and we're gonna take it to daytona truck week which is in june the humvee yeah humvee and a truck okay and then it'll be down there we'll have a booth set up selling shirts with defiant and all, all that and then i think we're gonna get it back go ahead and yank the motor out of the humvee and go ahead and do the duramax conversion and hope I'm hoping that we can have it ready by SEMA 2021 and then that way the truck and the Humvee can be together at SEMA but it's not gonna be a I really wanted you to know it's not gonna be a paper princess like that's not what I'm building it for like it's it's gonna be tested tested to the max and it's gonna be a fun toy to have don't plan on selling it but if I ever did sell it that's another reason why we're doing a Duramax keep its value I guess look at that like the detail on that the beautiful views that's right look, look at this majestic <laughs> man no but for real that looks incredible live out in the country that's what you get to see every day yes sir all right guys so I'm about to wrap this video up hope you guys enjoyed looking at the Humvee and getting to check out Defiant Motorsports also, I gotta give it out to Bunk of Branding. So yesterday, all right, this is funny. So I don't think, I've been looking at myself in a lot of these videos and I'm like, damn, I'm getting fat. And uh, I think it's the camera add on 10 pounds, but I'm trying to, sh I'm gonna try and lose about five to 10 pounds. So did good yesterday. I actually cooked my breakfast. It was perfect. I did lunch, grilled chicken and rice. Had a steak and asparagus for dinner. And then I get a ring at the doorbell, and it was a package from Bunker Branding that sent me all these cookies at the right time. So, no more diet for me. So, I want to give a shout out to Bunker Branding for that. And also, if you guys haven't checked out our merch yet, make sure you go check out uh, Bunker Branding website. Go to prodigylifestyle.com, get you some hoodies, get you some shirts. Cut these shirts too. Don't look at my gut. So we got the flag shirt with the P and L and the stars. So uh, go grab you guys one for Christmas. Get you a brave homie shirt for your kids. We have kid sizes now in stock. And uh, let's see. And if you guys want to follow us on social media, I'll put a link in the description below. And if you want to follow Defiant Motorsports, go check them out. They do some crazy like SEMA builds. I'll put their link at the top of the description below. So make sure you go give them a follow. Check them out. You'll be seeing a lot of stuff from the Humvee next week, I believe. I hope, hopefully next week. And, uh, and then we're going to build a truck out of it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you later.